Recently, I had an issue of um, struggling to connect via my USB or network, and I could not install the driver onto my laptop. So basically what was happening was that I was downloading my driver onto my laptop, but it wasn't recognizing it once I tried to connect it via my USB or um, network. And so what the first thing I did um, is that I need to type in support for your printer. So mine is the DS3 card printer, so that's what I typed in. And I downloaded the driver from the internet instead of using it um, with the USB because sometimes the versions are not updated. And um, by using the one online, it is updated. Okay, so I downloaded that. And as you can see, it's on my files over here, my downloads. Um, I went into it and I said yes. Um, okay, so you don't plug in at all before being instructed. Okay, so click yes. It extracts it all for you. Then I have to go through the procedure. Um, remember to uninstall any previous drivers and printers. Okay, so you can do this by going into your control panel. I've already um, installed this printer, so when I reconnect it, um, obviously you can see that this XPS card printer is here. Um, and what you would do is that you would click remove device. Okay, if it was one, um, if it was an SD range or um, DS range that you're no longer using, then you're obviously trying to connect to your new printer, which could be the DS3 in my case. Um, you would remove all previous uh, devices. Okay. Okay. So for previous drivers uh, that you've downloaded, um, you need to go and open driver um, and you can search this in your downloads or wherever you may have installed the driver and what you would do is that you would remove the printer and driver from your computer so that um, it is not in, um, affecting the previous one. Then um, once you get to this section um, there will be an issue okay so I clicked um, install via USB and the issue was that I clicked, I plugged in my USB and I wasn't recognizing it. Or um, I did a network update and I didn't recognize my IP address again. So, what, um, what I mean by this is that when you go into printers and scanners, there was an issue over here where the XPS card printer had a um, emergency sign next to it so it was like a triangle saying that it was not installed properly and there was an issue so what i would like you to do is go into device manager to fix this issue okay and um, when you find your um, sigma printer um, i would like you to uninstall it and reinstall it again to um, Updated. So basically what I mean by this is you would go left click on it, um, you would uninstall the device and then reinstall it. Okay, it's not showing at the moment because there is no issue, but that is what I mean. The next thing that I would do is that um, if this does not work, go and update the driver. So if your Sigma was over here, update driver. Okay. And this is when the issue will be fixed because you're updating the driver and you're making sure that it is the newest model. So you then need to select the drive, a driver where you downloaded it. Okay, so I'll click update driver. I'll browse my computer for it. And because I found it in my downloads, that's exactly where I would find it in my library. And then you would go and find the folder where you've saved uh, your your printer installation. Okay, and then you wait for it and you let it install. And then what you would do is then obviously go back into the XPS card printer installation and we'll be able to connect it properly. Okay, uh, the way that you can do this and see that it is working, um, if you go into your files and you see that um, it is working. So I'm just gonna use an example over here.
and you can see that your printer is connected. So that is when you know that everything is working perfectly and you've connected via USB or network.